Hello guys, welcome to your first Python programming tutorial. My name is Luke, and we are going to go over the basics for beginners, and anybody who wants to learn Python can probably benefit from this tutorial tremendously. To get started, go to python.org forward slash download forward slash. That'll be in the description, so if you, you know, a link for the lazy if you want to just go down there and click it. And then go to your, the most recent uh, software of Python. Now, for me, it's Python 2.7.3. And that's for Windows, so that's the one I download. Uh, you can download the one for Mac, uh, Linux, Unix, any other, whatever uh, OS system you have. It's what you're going to download, obviously. So once you're done downloading that, go ahead and open up the idle GUI. And you're going to be presented with a window that's like this. Now what this is, it's just basically our basic, you know, run thing. It's just going to do whatever. Uh, we'll cover that with further detail basically um, when you make a program you can run it through here uh, you can also uh, just you know test stuff through this but to get started go ahead and hit file and new window this will create a new window for us and we are ready to get started programming so to get started programming uh, before I get started Python is honestly a language coding language for beginners Basically, if you have no past coding uh, references or if you've never learned a programming language before, then you can learn this. This is basically what everybody starts out with. Now, when I say everybody, I mean I started out with Python. Uh, it's a really good programming language to learn for beginners because it doesn't require semicolons. It doesn't require much at all. It's basic English and it's a lot of common sense. To get started, we're going to teach you just a basic output on the screen. Uh, to output text on the screen, it's a simple function called print. You'll notice that will be highlighted in orange. Okay, so you're going to type your print function and then uh, space and then quotation marks. And whatever goes inside your quotation marks is what uh, is going to be printed out on the screen, obviously. All right, so let's just say we wanted to type in hello world. All right, so there we go. We have our hello world and it's going to print out. Now, whenever you save a file that's in Python, you're going to save it as a, let's just go to our desk documents and then we'll name this tutorial. But the extension you want to add is the extension known as .py. That'll make it a Python file and it'll read all the Python code from it. So go ahead and save that. And you can just hit F5 as a hotkey to run the program. And you can see it printed out hello world. Now to go into a little bit uh, more detail next tutorial uh, we are going to be going over much more and I'm trying to make these tutorials short and sweet so you can just go ahead and click the link and it'll take you to your next tutorial alright guys thank you subscribe and like the video and comment if you have any questions see you later